arithmetic sequence at your page 55. So it's quite different from the previous uh, sequence that we've learned before, which is arithmetic sequence. If in arithmetic sequence, we want to go from one number to one number, let's say from two to four. So kita tambah dua, we add two. From four to six, we add two. This is arithmetic sequence. So the process is addition or subtraction. It can be four to two, from to zero. Okay, so you, you subtract two, subtract two, and subtract two, and so on. That one is arithmetic sequence. But today we want to focus on geometric sequence. Where in geometric sequence, the process uh, is actually multiplication. All right, so from 32, okay, let's say we have this uh, example. We have 32 to 64. So try to make a guess. Um, we have to do what? Uh, we have to multiply by what number? So if you use your calculator, actually, you if you multiply 32 by 2, you multiply by 2, you get 64. And then 64 multiply by 2, you get 128. And then multiply by 2, and then you get 256. And then you, you can find the next number in the sequence by multiplying by 2. All right? So uh, kalau tengok dengan betulnya, 32, 64 ni sama macam memori iPhone lah kan? 256, 85, 12, 81, 1 tera and so on lah. Uh, so sebenarnya dia menggunakan konsep. Siapa kata tak guna matematik dalam kehidupan? Ada ni guna ni. Ah, uh, Dalam uh, memori, memori iPhone. Uh, gitu. All right, baik. Let's go to the elements inside the sequence. So kena tahu the first one is what is the first term so nama dia term so the t1 so dia kadang-kadang label sebagai a so of course this one is called as t1 so 32 is the first term all right next we have the second term so the second term is given by t2 label as t2 so of course is this one 64 yang kedudukan kedua all right so we have the third term which is given by t3 okay kadang-kadang uh, ditulis sebagai t3 t3 we have to know that it is third term so which is given by 128 and the fourth term 256 and then we have the fourth uh, the fifth term you get 512 and so on all right so what's uh, another thing that is important in this topic that you have to know is the common ratio so this multiply by 2 is actually the common ratio so how to get that actually you can take the yang belakang bahagi yang depan so 256 divide by 128 so you get 2 ataupun you can take 128 divide by 64 yang belakang bahagi yang depan alright or you can take 64 divide by 32 still you get 2 alright so uh, this is basically what geometry sequence is alright so there are three formula for this topic uh, the nth term as usual we want to find the nth term meaning t berapa kita kena cari a r to the power of n minus 1 but some of the first n terms is given by the two formula it depends on this r value if R is greater than 1, so we have to use the first formula. If R is less than 1, then we have to use the second formula. Okay? All right. So, let's have a look at the first example. Alright. So, given the geometric sequence. So, please take note that it is geometric sequence. Alright. So, find the first term. What is that? The first term is actually A. Alright. So, A is given by the first number here, which is 4. So, A is equal to 4. Alright. The next one. Find the common ratio. So, what is R common ratio? Okay. So, R is given by, you have to take, okay, let's say you have, you, you take T2 divided by T1. So, in this case, T2 is actually negative 12. So, negative 12 divided by 4, you get negative 3. So, please take note that R is negative 3. Negative 3 is greater or less than 1 so it is actually less than 1 please take note that because we will use in the formula for submission all right next one we okay find the seventh term all right find the seventh term so the keyword is term so you want to find t seventh term so t is seven so to find t seven we will have to use the formula tn where tn is given by the formula a r to the power of n minus one what is the value of n all right so the value of n is given by seven here all right so please take note n is equal to seven all right so we insert all the values of uh, a from the question which is given by four so a is equal to four all right a is equal to four r is equal to negative three just now and n okay n here is seven minus one all right so meaning that you have to simplify the power first so negative 3 7 minus 1 is actually 6 alright so now you can press your calculator so please put negative 3 into the bracket right so to the power of 6 so you get 2 9 1 6 so your T7 the 7th term is given by 2 9 1 6 okay so the next question find the sum find the sum of the first 6 terms so what is sum sum is given by S sum of the first 6 terms so S6 so to, to find S6 we have to use the formula of SN so SN which one there are 2 SN here alright please take note in the formula we have 2 SN so please take note if R is greater than one we have to use the first formula but r is greater than uh, less than one we have to use the second formula in this case our r is negative three which is less than one so we'll have to use the second formula all right so we'll have to write the second formula first all right so a bracket one minus r to the power of n over one minus r why because we use this formula because r is negative three which is less than one all right so our we want to find s six so please write s six so our n now is actually six compare that one so n is actually six so a from the question you got a actually four just now right Okay, A is 4. Okay. 1 minus R is negative 3. Please put negative 3 in the bracket. To the power of N. N here. To the power of N. N is actually 6. 6. Close the bracket. Alright. Over. 1 minus R. R is negative 3. Alright. So, you can calculate this using your calculator. Alright. So, be careful. Uh, you should know how to calculate this using your calculator. Alright. Because we have learned in chapter 1. Multiply by 4. Divide it by. Okay. So, you get the sum mentioned is given by negative 728. Now we'll have a look at this at the third example from your book. So given the geometric sequence, please take note that it is actually geometric sequence and 
sequence. Uh, the geometry sequence given by that. So find the first term. So the first term is given by A. So A is actually the number in front here. So which is 1, two, one over 243. All right. And then find the common ratio. So note that your common ratio is given by T2 divided by T1. But you're not, your, your T2 and T1 now is actually in form of fraction. So actually you have 1 over T2 is 1 over 81. Divided by T1 is 1 over 243. So you can calculate this using your calculator. Okay. So you'll get, okay, 1 over 281 multiplied. Okay, so you get your R is 3. Your common ratio is given by 3. Okay, so please take note that your common ratio now is greater than 1 because 3 is greater than 1. But sorry about it, it's 1. Alright, so fine. So find the 11th term. So please, what do we want to find? Sum or term? We want to find term. So which term? Term 11. So T... Eh, sorry, T11. So T11. Our N now is 11. So write the formula first. So Tn is given by AR to the power of N minus 1. So your N is given by 11. So please take note of that. Alright, so now... So write T11. Your A is just now you've got 1 over 4, 2, 4, 3. Okay, 1 over... Mm -hmm. 1 over 2, 4, 3. Your R is given by 3 to the power of N. N is 11 minus 1. So please simplify the power first. 2, 4, 3. Okay. Spus blast tolak 1, you get 10. And then you have to use your calculator. 3 to the power of 10. Alright, 3 to the power of 10. Divided by 243. So you will get T11 is actually 243. Okay. So you get T11. The 11th term is 243. So calculate the sum of the first. So calculate the sum. Sum, sum. Which is S. The sum of the first 10 terms. So 10. S10 we want to find. So to find this, we have to use the formula SN. Diberi oleh A to the power of. Okay. Please take note that our R now is greater than 1. So we have to use the first formula. Which is A to the power of R to the power of N minus 1. Over R minus 1. Why? Because R is greater than 1. Please take note of that. Okay. So now, you've inserted all the values. So, our... Okay, we want to find S10. So, please take note that our N now is actually 10. N is actually 10. So, now, we'll have... Okay. A is 1 over 243. Alright. So, R to the power of N, which is 3 to the power of... Uh, N is actually... Uh, N is 10. Okay. 3 to the power of 10. Minus 1. Dekat bawah ya. Bukan power tu yang minus 1. Okay. Over R. 3 minus 1. So, be careful when you're pressing your calculator for this one. Alright. So, maybe you can press 3 to the power of 10 first. And then you minus 1. And then you multiply by 1 over 243. Okay. And then you divide by 3 minus 1 in the bracket. Okay. So, you'll get... Okay, um, you know, you get point which, which cannot be converted into dash as, uh, into fraction. So you write the point. So 121.4979. So leave your answer as this. It's okay. All right. Okay. All right. So let's move to the next question. Okay. So question three. Let's say we have this type of numbers. Okay. Okay. I don't want to go to question four. I want to proceed to question number five. All right. Okay, question number five. Okay, in geometric sequence, in geometry, please take note this is geometric. All right, this is quite different from the previous examples. The first term, all right, please take note the first term and the seventh term. All right, this is we know that this is a and this is t seven. All right, because the seventh term are sixty four and one over sixty four respectively. So what does it mean? Meaning that this a is sixty four and this t seven is one over sixty four. That what it means by the sentence if it has the respectively. So find the common ratio. What do I want to find? So why we want to find the r. So think of upper degree. Okay, given a is equal to sixty four. T7 is given by 1 over 64. So, biasanya kalau soalan macam ni, kalau diberi T7, we want to use T7. So, because T7 is given by 1 over 64, so we want to use the formula for Tn, which is given by AR to the power of N minus 1. So, what is our N now? N is given by... Yeah. N is given by N is actually 7. So, our N is 7. Our A is 64. We already have from the question. Okay. So, now, we'll insert into the formula. So, our A is 64. Okay. Multiply. Our R, we want to find R to the power of N. What is N? N now is actually 7 minus 1. But, we have already T7. Okay. T7 is actually Tn. Tn is actually 6, 1 over 64. So, 1 over 64. Okay. We have something like this. Alright. So, what do we need to do now? We have to solve this uh, uh, index equation, I guess. Alright. So, 64 r to the power 7 minus 1 is actually 6 okay so you'll have to bring uh, 64 to the left side so we'll have something like this so 1 over 64 okay you'll multiply by 64 something like this all right r to the power of 6 okay i write it here so you calculate 64 multiplied by 64 okay so actually you will get 4096 so r to the power of 6 is given by 1 over 64 darab 64 4096 maksudnya kita nak hilangkan ku punca kuasa 6 so what do we have to take is punca kuasa 6 take the uh, Punca kuasa 6 lah kan okay? So R is given by Punca kuasa 6 Okay Punca kuasa 6 Bagi 1 over 4096 You have to know How to use this Using calculator Please put bracket eh, Bila tekan calculator So uh, Kena tahu macam mana Nak tekan calculator For this one Okay 1 over 40, 4096 So you will get R as 1 over 
4. Please take note that this R now is actually less than 1 because 1 over 4 is less than 1. Okay? 1 over 4 is given by 0 0.25. 0 0.25 is less than 1. Okay. So the next one, find the fourth term. Find the fourth term. What do you want to find? We want to find the term. So T, T what? T fourth. Fourth is 4. Right, T fourth. So we want to find T fourth. So we have to use the formula for Tn. Tn is given by AR to the power of n minus 1. Our A we have uh, given in the, uh, in the question is just 64. Alright. Our A now is 64. Our R that we have uh, just got just now is actually 1 over 4. Okay. To the power of n minus 1. What is n? n is actually 4. n is 4. So 4 minus 1. Simplify the power first. Right. So we'll get we'll get something like 1 over 4 to the power of 3. So this one you can use your calculator. So actually you'll get 64 divided by 64 you get 1. Okay. So your sorry. So you get 1. So actually this is T4. So T4 is 1. Okay. So, next question is question 6. In geometric sequence, please highlight the geometric sequence. The common ratio, okay, what is that? R. The sixth term, what is that? Sixth term, T6. Alright, R, negative 5 and negative 9, 3, 7, 5. So, respectively, so please take note that the first one is R. The second one is T6. And that's how you read the question. So, R is equal to negative 5 and T6 equal to negative 9, 3, 7, 5. Please take out the information from the question. So, find the first term. What do you want to find? You want to find A. How much is A? Alright, so because T6 is given... So please write T6, alright? Negative 9, 3, 7, 5. Alright, so we'll have to use the formula for T. So the formula for T and for geometric is given by A, R to the power of N minus 1. Alright, so our A is, we want to find, okay? We want to find A. A is, we want to find, so write A. Multiply by R. R is negative 5 here, alright? R is negative 5. Please put in bracket. Alright, so our N, what about our N now? Our N is actually 6. Where do you get 6? So from this, you compare this one. So N is equal to 6. So 6 minus 1. So, um... Okay, alright, so we'll have something like this. So please take note that how much is the value here? So it depends on this T6. So the T6 is from here. So actually from the left side, you have negative 9, 3, 7, 5. You are getting like that. Okay, so now, simplify dulu power. Okay, so negative 9, 3, 7, 5 sama dengan A multiplied by negative 5 kuasa 5. So tekan calculator negative 5 kuasa 5. In bracket negative 5 eh, kuasa 5. So you, you akan dapat, okay... A, okay, negative 3, 1, 2, 5, negative 9, 3, 7, 5, okay, I'll write it here, okay, so please take note that, okay, saya tukar tempat kiri kanan, okay, sebab nak mudah, biasanya A tu kita nak letak belah kiri lah, sebab kita nak cari A, alright, so we'll have actually negative 3, 1, 2, 5, multiply by A dekat belakang, equal negative 9, 3, 7, 5, so how do you want to find A, okay, we want to find this A, so this A is given by, so negative 9, 3, 7, 5, divide by negative 3, 1, 2, 5, so you will get, 9, 3, 7, 5, okay, your answer for A will be 3. Okay? So, your A will be 3. Okay. So, next question. Find the sum of the first four terms. So, S sum is S four terms. So, S four. Don't know what it means by the question. So, now we have to use the formula for Sn. So, please take note what is the value of R now because our R is negative 5. Negative 5 is less than 1. So, we'll have to use the second formula for summation. Alright? So, the formula is given by A to the power of 1 minus R to the power of N over 1 minus R. And then you insert all the values because we have got the value of A. The value of A we have got from question A. Alright? And then R is given. N is actually 4. And then you get the value. I'm, I'm not going to show everything to you. So, please try on your own for this for this question okay so let's try the last one okay which is um quite um interesting but uh, uh you know you, you can solve this inshallah all right uh, given uh, 4 12 36 108 dot 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 until the last term which is 8748 all right 8748 is a geometric sequence okay we know that it is a geometric sequence and this is it is says that that one is the last term so meaning that this one is the last term so if that one is the last term okay let me show you this one is a this one is t2 this one is t3 okay this one is t4 and then we have t5 t5 until t we don't know how t berapa we tak tahu so we write tn that's how you, you read the questions okay so so alam patah find the first term so the first term is given by a equal to 4. The common ratio. So, R is given by T2 divided by T1. T1 is A lah, right? So, 12 divided by 4. 12 bagi 4 dapat 3. Okay. So, R dah dapat 3. So, now, find the number of terms. So, meaning the number of terms, meaning we want to find N. Maksudnya, T berapa dekat sini? Ni, itu soalan tanya. T berapa? N tu berapa nilai dia? Okay. So, we'll have to use the formula for TN because uh, we want to find, before, because given TN, okay. So, formula for TN is given by A, R to the power of N minus 1. Okay. Alright. So, now, we'll have to write what is TN? Alright. So, TN is given from the question 8, 7, 4, 8. This, that, that is TN, alright? 8, 7, 4, 8. Okay, so we'll have TN 8, 7, 4, 8 is equal to, alright. What about your A? So your A is actually 4, okay? So your A is actually 4. And then you have R. R is given by, you, you have already calculated R, the common ratio from the from the question A, okay? So R is given by 3. So R is 3. 3 to the power of N minus 1. N minus 1, you write N minus 1 because we want to find N. Okay, I write N, N minus 1, okay? I write something like this. Okay? So, 
Okay, so I, I, I changed the position. Okay, 4 to the power of 3 to the power of n minus 1 is equal to 8, 7, 4, 8. Okay, so the next step is you have to divide 7, 4, 8 by 4. So you'll have 3 to the power of, okay, 3 to the power of n minus 1 is given by 8, 7, 4, 8 divided by 4. So you, you have to use your calculator. 8, 7, 4, 8, you divide by 4, you, you get... 2, 1, 8, 7. 2, 1, 8, 7. So, 3 to the power of n minus 1 is given by 2, 1, 8, 7. So, now this is uh, index equation. Recall the index equation. Meaning that yang kalau dekat sini adalah, dekat belah kiri adalah base 3. Okay. Belah kanan kena jadikan base 3. Macam mana nak jadikan base 3? Maksudnya 3 kuasa berapa jadi 2, 1, 8, 7? So, press your calculator. 3 kuasa 1. 3. 3 kuasa 2. 9. 3 kuasa 3. 27. 3 kuasa 4. 81. 3 kuasa 5. 2, 4, 3. 3 kuasa 6. 7, 2, 9. 3 kuasa 7. 2, 1, 8, 7. Haa, that's the answer. 3 kuasa 7. So, now nak buat apa? You compare the base dah tutup. Therefore, highlight. Saya highlight kan kejap. Kita compare yang atas sahaja. N minus 1 is actually equal to 7. Therefore, we have N minus 1 equal to 7. So, N is actually 7 plus 1. So, N is given by A. Meaning to say that the last term is the eighth term. So, meaning that ada lapan term. Ada satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh, lapan. This one yang ke-lapan. That's what it means by this question.